In the previous lecture, we talked about the theory of different types of t-tests and in that we talked about a 1t test. In this lecture, we will take an example of a 1t test and see how we can do the test in Minitab and interpret the results. Here is the scenario. It's a company in which there is a process and there is a service level for that process and the data of service level of that particular process has been collected. The data has been collected for 14 weeks and the average performance is somewhere around 94.5%. However, the agreement for the service level with their customers, that is the target, is 95%. Is their performance below par? As, as far as the requirement is concerned or not is what we are going to test right now. So let's jump into Minitab, look at the data and then do the analysis there. We are in Minitab now and I have the data of uh, 14 weeks in column C10. It's titled as SLA and you see that we have data such as 95.004, 93.5656 etc. So we have the data that we have collected. Now we want to perform a 1t hypothesis test. Just to refresh, why do we want to do a 1t hypothesis test? We have a target and we have some data and we want to compare whether this data that we have is uh, same as that of the target. When we want to compare a particular sample as against a standard or as against a norm, that is when we use a 1t test. A 1t test is nothing but a one sample t test. So we have one sample here of 14 data points and that we want to compare against a standard. 